you guys are shade assassins, you know, you guys are you're reading queens. Which of your cast members really stirs the pot behind the scenes or on social media? That's not yourself looking at you, Candace. Uh, Margaret, let's start with you. Who do you think stirs the pot the most on your cast? Behind the scenes or yeah. on camera? Behind the scenes. Teresa. Really? B behind the scenes. Think about it for a second, Margaret. Okay, you answered that very quickly. Okay. <laughs> Teresa, for sure, Sutton? I think we're all pot stirrers on my show. Equal opportunity pot stirrers. We all got spoons in that pot, all of us. But I, I will say Kyle's pretty good at putting people together in a certain way. She knows how to, she knows how to produce a moment. She knows how to produce a moment. I, I would say so. Kenya, Atlanta, they got a lot to choose from in that, in that city. Uh, I think it's obvious. I'll let the, the audience figure that one out. I think it's obvious. Who do you guys think it is from Atlanta? Who do you think, think, Marl, interesting. We didn't think we were going to go there. Lala, what about you? I think James. Uh, it's definitely James. It's totally James. It's definitely James. 100%. Yeah. Well, then I think about it, I'm like, maybe I also stir because if I want something to not come from me, I'm like, hey, James, did you hear? <laughs> Don't tell anybody. You know where the to go. Bone you have, she knows the bone where the, collector. The bone collector. The bone. She knows where the telephone's going. Okay, Potomac. You know, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes in Potomac. A whole lot. Outside of yourself. My who, God. Who do you think stirs the pot the most? Uh, well, I I don't stir the pot off camera. Right. I'm, I'm gonna do it in your face. Right. But definitely off camera because she has nothing else going on. <laughs> she all she has is to stir other pots, and that's neck rolls. Yes. AKA Giselle. For yeah, well, I was gonna talk. say, are we saying her name? But all right. All right, well, okay. But also being a shady queen, throwing insults, you guys are still people and human beings at the end of the day. Let's not forget, you are strong, powerful women. What do you think is the biggest, yeah, give it up for strong, powerful women. What do you think is the biggest misconception about each and every one of you? I'm actually really curious because you've been on our air for a long time. Kenya, let's start with you. Oh, I, I, I think that's the easy one for me is that, you know, you're mean or, you know, right. you're evil. You don't care. Yeah, something. you don't care um, because of my clapbacks or, you know, retaliations are lethal. Yeah. They forget what the other person said or did to me first. I only respond. It's warranted. Right. Yes, it's warranted. I respond. I don't start it. Right. I finish. So, but they don't remember what the other person did because they're like, dead in a corner somewhere. <laughs> of course. And it's, it's not fair, you know, I don't think You're that's You're reactive, fair. not proactive. I'm totally reactive. Lala? I think I would second that. I think people are like really shocked to know that I have a soft side. But yeah, because the person that's coming for me is a little, they're weak and I'm retaliating. They only focus on what I said. They're like, but you went too far. I'm like, no. You can't choose the playing field, and then when I win the game, be mad about it, you know? Give it up for that. I want to get into some specific TV shade. I want to talk about the adrenaline of filming reunions, okay? They're all day. They're marathons. You guys have to sit there. They're tired, you know? Things just kind of pop off. They pop out of your mouth. When have, when have you been shocked at the things that come out of your mouth in the heat of the moment. I mean, when you look back at the reunion or anything, you're like, I cannot believe I said that. Sutton, any, any? No, I, I think. Um, no, uh, I'm good with it. Uh, no regrets. I, I was real quiet the last reunion. Yeah. It's, here's the thing. I say things to your face all season. So at the reunion, I'm like, why are we here? Because y'all know what I think. I, I've You've aired things. your grievances already. Yeah. yeah. They're the ones that have things to say. Well, but Mark this reunion, that will not be true. Ooh, 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 what a teaser. Margaret, specifically, what is your response to the rumors that you have a quote unquote arsenal uh, on everyone in your cast? You know, I don't call it an arsenal just because I know things. That's not, a, that's not an arsenal because I'm very lucid and have a great memory. I think, you know, every, you know. She is sober, people. She's going to remember. No, it's like, that's really what it is. And I think people get upset about that because, listen, I know a lot of people. I know things. And because I choose not to say it, and I say it at opportune times, that's not an arsenal. Right. right. I, I think that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but, you know, and because people aren't as savvy as me and don't pay attention, that's on them. Yeah. Well, I mean, what do you want me to do? Yeah, that, right. That's not your problem. That's not my problem. 
Well, the, uh, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Kenya. You take it. You take it. Whatever you want to say is yours. <laughs> Uh, I remember, well, last reunion, I remember saying to, um, someone was arguing about whether or not it was a date, and I told a cast member, they knew it wasn't a date because her dates end with a man leaving money on the, on the counter. Oh. <laughs> I was you like, remember that moment. I said that? <laughs> you, didn't, you blacked out. You didn't even I remember. Blacked, yeah, I, was, I blacked out. Well, Lala. I, I often black out. This last reunion that you were a a part of. Um, when, did you rewatched it, I'm assuming? I have rewatched it 500 times, being like, damn, bitch, you like were running. <laughs> like, who is this person? Did you remember saying all the things that you were saying? I mean, did you, would you, did you look back and you were like, oh, I could have gone there, I could have gone there, I held back, I did the most? What was your kind of thoughts on no, it? No, no. I was on my game. Yeah. I, I was on it. <laughs> do you take notes? Do any of you take notes after a reunion and say, oh, I'm going to say that next time? My love, if we were taking notes, would we be sitting here right now? Yeah, you had a James Kennedy in this that's what I, don't like. I have to say, that is what I don't like. The girls who prepare a rehearsal. When you bring a notebook to oh, the party, and when that's you, you no-no. You flop. Her phone no. the whole time on the, you there was one girl at our yes. reunion that had her phone with notes the whole time when she was talking. I'm like, how, what, what are we doing? No. Pass. Yes. No, don't yes. rehearse a read. Either you got it or you don't. So you know they're weak if they're bringing notes. You have, you have to have it all up here. You have no. to have it all up here. It's <laughs> off the oh, dome God. at all times. I'm just up here being a good little host with this. <laughs> Game time, everybody. <laughs> We're going to play reasonable or shady. Kenny, if you wouldn't mind passing some glasses down to each of the women. Candace, you can use your own little glasses if you These like These are my it. hater blockers. I will keep them on. Please take, take a glass, move them down, pass one. Here we go. One at a time, I'm going to hand you your pair of glasses. Um, I'm going to give you a hot Bravo. There's a hot Bravo situation attached to each of the glasses. Don't read them out yet. So do um, I need to have one just to read? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, have them up to read, otherwise I'll okay. give them to you. Oh, if sure. you think the topic is shady, put your sunglasses on. If you think it's reasonable, don't put them on. Um, Candace, I'll put on fake sunglasses. If I think it's shady, I'll put my hand over there. Okay. Um, Sutton, let's start with your situation. I always get confused at these games. <laughs> I don't understand. If it's shady, put your sunglasses on. Well, I don't understand it. Okay. <laughs> Read it. What is Just it? Just read it and we'll help you. Okay. It says putting out a newspaper of shade at your reunion. <laughs> That's shady. That sh is that shady? That's very shady. That's very shady. So you're going to put the sunglasses okay. on. Okay. That's shady. So it's shady? Yeah. No, all of you. You all think it's shady. I yes. all think it's shady? I, I think it's reasonable. No, I think but... it was fabulous. I think it was fabulous. I what think you, it was what everything. Have, what's it, the fabulous? What's it, the fabulous vibe? It was giving everything. Yeah. It was giving everything and shady. Fabulous. All right, we're gonna have to go one at a time here. Um, Kenya, here you go. Read yours and you put it on if you think it's shady or reasonable. <laughs> Insinuating it's creepy that your friend takes baths with her husband. Is that, is that a little shady? Yeah, that's a little shady. That's shady. Uh, a little bit. You guys know what we're talking about, right? Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Yeah, that was a good moment. That was a good moment. <laughs> Margaret, please read yours. Got it. Thank God. I don't need my glasses. Suddenly falling ill and leaving an event when someone you're feuding with arrives. This is a la Karen Huger, the grand yes. dame of the Real Housewives of yes. Potomac. Is that shady, ladies? That's called a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, like that's... Yeah, you don't... I would never do that. No, oh, you... that's not shady. I would never do that. I love when someone I hate arrives. Yes. <laughs> it's time to play. Yes. Yeah. What I love Bring is... it on. What I love is just Sutton keeping her sunglasses on the whole time. <laughs> they match her outfit. They, they do match. match. Yeah, that's yeah. why she's doing it. Lala, you're up next. I always forget how to read when someone tells me to read. Yeah. I only read people, not <laughs> words. Showing up uninvited to a girl's trip. I just think that's A la thirsty. Angie from The Real Housewives of Salt that's Lake City. That's thirsty. Uncouth. That's just that's like. That's rude. Yeah, it's yes. not shady. It's just. I'm going to keep them off. It, okay, but it's not reasonable. It's just. No. It's, it's not weird. reasonable. It's weird, thirsty. We can tell you've only been on for one season. Stop. 
my God. I'm scared for this one. Candace? All right. Good morning. Okay. Doubting your friend's husband's 24-hour trip to Vietnam is a mile run. A la Jessel from The Real Housewives uh, of New York. What do we think? That I don't think that's shady because, yeah, I mean, I mean, I can liken this to my cast. Like, if, you're, if your husband goes to a hotel to drop his credit card and you think he left, no, ma'am, Pam. Like, I, you, you, you just being a good Samaritan. Lies from the pits of hell. <laughs> Nobody is that altruistic, okay? He don't leave his house. So yeah, that's not shady, that's just dumb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just stupid. Yeah. Just dumb. I mean, listen, who doesn't want a mileage run and get platinum or diamond points? That's all I'm saying on an airline. It does happen. Then take your wife with you.